who I had the great pleasure of working with last year down in Plymouth for the first time. He's worked for us for many, many years, and I've known him for many, many years, but I've never actually worked with him before until last Christmas. And I have the greatest respect for this man. He is a superlative performer, one of this country's greatest comedians. We don't see enough of him on the telly. I mean, you do see him every week on the telly, but you don't, we don't see enough of him. There's still more from this man because he's a, gen a comic genius. And, and of course, that's what we need in pantomime. He's a perfect panto fit. And uh, he's been on our TV screens for as long as we've all been alive. He's been a star of the stage, Jamie, which is here this week. He was in the West End uh, recently. And, uh, and now back in East Enders, please welcome the legend that is Shane Richards! about EastEnders. <laughs> Screw that, ask anything you want, all right? I kill Cat at Christmas, that's all you need to know. <laughs> you know what, that's the sad thing, because that'll make the headline now. <laughs> now I'll be a Mr. Kelly Cat at Christmas, it's not true, by the way. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out this afternoon. We're not going to keep you that long, all right? Because I know there's other places you probably want to be. Look, <laughs> some of you are ready to go off and play bingo somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, thank you for being here. But we, I mean, did I make Dr. Rose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've got this. It's the first time I've met today, and I know the jokes are going to be flying at Christmas. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a dodgy knee. Okay, so. <laughs> Welcome to Nottingham. Yeah, no, I've been here one time. Yes, yes, yes. Touring with many years ago. I've done stand up here many years ago. Um, and I was there, I did Jamie. Jen? Did we come to see you? Did you do Jenny here? Yeah, did yeah, Jenny here? Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I know the cast are here, some of the cast that I work with are here, quite Matt this afternoon, so I've just dropped them text. I might go and play Loco Chanel this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> see how I feel? Oh no, you won't. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, I love it here. And, um, but you've played Dick Whitney before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah I've, uh, I've, uh, I've been a dick most Christmas. <laughs> in Bristol, you know these jokes are going to be writing themselves, <laughs> don't you, right? Eh? Writing some of them gags in. Glad to see you've got your bundle with you. Yep, thank you. Everyone out here. Got my vape in there. No joke, that's just a joke. <laughs> Keep stuck with vaping. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, where, where was the great problem, isn't it? Well, we know Plymouth last year was different. What was that last year? Oh, was it? What panel was that? Sleeping Beauty. And I was like, yeah, I think we've got it. Oh, yeah. The year before, you were in Wimbledon. And then you were in, we did, uh, in Bristol the year before. Oh, God bless your memory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I've got to be honest with you. I, I, every year I was like, let's just get me play Dick Winston because I love the gags in it and the story's great. And of course, it's tied in with a bit of London East End. Of course, it is. Perfect, perfect role for you. And we've got some, uh, a great cast. I'm really excited about working because uh, every year I try and. Um, I have over the years worked with a lot of the same people. Mention no names. Uh, but this year it's great that I'm working with a whole new cast and I'm getting to meet a whole new load of performers and great talent on stage. And I genuinely am excited about um, Panda. And I know, and I'll tell you why. Because I've been playing the story on Enders and I've been watching Alfie with his prostate cancer. And playing that story this year has been tough, but it's been really rewarding. But occasionally, what I want to do is turn up at a theatre, like this beautiful theatre, and just let go. And that's all I love to do in Panto. And I, he, he, no, that's I, why you're so brilliant. But I, no two shows are the same. No, I'm just going to let you know now. Okay? <laughs> Definitely not. So if you've written the matter, don't expect the same show in the evening because I just might change it and be Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> but the great thing about Panto is the audience can affect, can alter the show. Oh, it's always. never not going to play with the same every time. And Panto I play is off so the audience. Yeah, and, I sure love that. That. and I always believe that the audience are the, the star of the show. And if something takes me off on a tangent and the audience are behind me and 99 times. 10 minutes later, 10 minutes later, back in the plot. Yeah, uh, and uh, you know, there's been times I've led the audience into the streets through the fire <laughs> exit just, just because I've gone off on a tangent. Uh, so, and I, and I really enjoy the parameters of whatever I want them to be. Uh, so for that, for that season I'm here, it's whatever I want the show to be. Of course, there's a story, but you know, something. <laughs> so, but, uh, and I hope you do come and support it. Tell all your friends. Uh, it is, uh, seriously, I want to come and see it. 
But, <laughs> uh, but you are a, a, a brilliant, as I discovered yeah. last year, a brilliant, brilliant yeah. comic. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I know. You sing <laughs> and you dance and you do. I've been doing it forty five years. Not to tell me something I don't know. You are brilliant, but yeah. I think a lot of the public don't don't see that part of you as much. I mean, in genuine, I don't think it's that important. Do you, do you, I mean, it is important because we, we need comics, and, and, yeah. and, and comedy is so important. And you're brilliant because you channel all the great comics as you did a rehearsal very funny last year. But you channel all those great comics and his impressions are oh, no, we're not doing things like that. But because I don't love you, know, remember I cut my teeth working with people like Terry Scott. Back in the day, some women like Les Dawson, and Jean Boat, bless who sounded oh, just like recently. Yes. She yeah. did my, one of my very first panels and over the years. Yeah, all of them over the years, and now I get a chance to kind of be the star of the show after uh, oh, a couple of years now. Um, and thanks to Crossroads and geezers like him, I go, yeah, let's put Shady Knight in them. I'm going, thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, and it ain't that far from home. I know you got one day off a week. No, it's not, it's not. Plymouth <laughs> took you two days to get there. <laughs> yeah, that is a long way. It's a long different way. time zone, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but it's awesome. great, because when I was doing Jamie, I was commuting. It's only about a couple of hours up the road. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's a couple of bars. I might see you, you know, after the show a couple of times, we'll get on it. <laughs> now, right on it. Start a drunken fight down the high street. Oh, no, no, no. End up in a hotel, just get right on it. <laughs> so it's quite nice to have a little break to reset this, isn't it? it just is. to clear your head it and is. do something completely different. And something that's such fun for you and the audience, of course. Yeah, and I'm filming right up to when we start rehearsals. Uh, obviously, you know, the big storyline Christmas, obviously. Eastenders. So, you're six weeks ahead, aren't you? So, you're yeah, six or eight weeks ahead. So, I, we've now just started filming Christmas. So, the stuff we start filming now is all leading up to Christmas Day, and then what happens into the new year. And then, by the time we start rehearsing for the panto, uh, we'll be filming close to Easter. Christmas wow. Day in East Enders is pretty special, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Someone dies. Who'd want to move to Walford, eh? <laughs> There's a lottery, someone's going to die, or your cousin's going to come out and would work and say, you're my dad. <laughs> 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 Who's watching East Enders at the moment? Oh, that's lovely. That. I'm going to wave to you all from the Queen. This is what I'm going to try and do, right? <laughs> so, over the next couple of weeks, between us lot here, I'm going to try and do either a, a reference to Nottingham, Okay, or a reference to Panto. Now, if you see me doing a scene, it might be like with Phil or with Cat or with Linda, right? If you see me, like right, this is going to be our scene between us. Right? If you see me just go like that, you'll know that's a message just for us, all right? So keep watching these things. It might just be I'll be at the bar having a row with Phil, and Phil might go with Alfie. Or whatever he says to me. <laughs> and I'll just go, yeah, whatever, Phil. <laughs> and you're going, that's a message for us! Let's go see Shane at Christmas! And I'll do it again on stage. <laughs> so keep watching now, yourself. Now, you now you are, we are missing someone on stage at the moment, aren't we? What's that? Director? <laughs> <laughs> you're no, not you're doing it. Why are, you, no, no, why are you not doing it for me this well, year? Well, because I'm with David Suchet in Bristol. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> David you know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> he will come up with a silly moustache. I, I cut him. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the killer? I'm sure it's not what you're doing. I'm hook. Song sheet in the end. Thanks, David. What's going to do? I'm going to there's your show. Well, that, you know, you know, it's like, yeah, I no, but we're missing your companion. What, Cat? Uh, that, that's it. Oh, you want to meet Cat? Cat! Where's Cat? Where's Cat? Where's Cat? Come Kat, on, Cat! Cat, over there! There's Cat! There's Cat! Oh, well done. It's kicking off here. <laughs> yeah. That, and that's how Cat moves in the Queen Bee. Oh, and look. Uh, here comes the Mitchell clan. Of queen rats, yeah, rats, her, her, her servants, 
uh, the, the, rap, the rapper bills um, uh, here as well today. Which, He's going to uh, scare some of the kids at Christmas. I've done this show and I watch the kids scream and wet themselves, and that's what you want. Yeah. But this is Keenan, our lovely cat. Yeah. Yeah. Keenan, would you like to say a few words? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. You decided in the script, right? As I said to Jonathan earlier on, I say, what we got to, what we got to call the cat? They normally call it Tommy, but I think you should call the cat Cat, <laughs> because there's so many gags I could write just on that alone. Okay, so you heard it here first. Cat's not called Tommy; it's called Cat. And sometimes and Doctor Rand might be Phil Mitchell. <laughs> This is Akina's first panto. First panto. Just left college, literally. Wow. And uh, so he's an most amazing actor and dancer. He's going to have a great time. Too, and he will be um, grazing your leg uh, <laughs> throughout, throughout the entire time. Yeah, you should have loved it. And uh, yeah. <laughs> he will absolutely well, you. Yeah. 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 have the, the best time with? ever. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Mr. Shane Richard. We're going to have a great time this Christmas in Nottingham, as we always do, with an extra special spectacle this Christmas in Dick Wittington. Ladies and gentlemen, I know some of you want to do some photographs. If you'd like to do the photographs now, we normally do it later. But we've got a couple of minutes just to do some photographs. If you'd like to come up here with the cast on stage, so Shane, Shane, <laughs> Shane if you stay in centre, Shane. Yeah. That's it. And on your side, that side. Dr. Rand on this side, on the good side. And if you can get them there, that's more on the side on the back here, that's fantastic. Okay, so if anyone would like photographs, do feel free to take them now, or a selfie if you'd like to get up there and do a selfie. If you can get your cameras ready so they're raring to go, as we're a bit pushed for time. 